Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys, Sag? Hope you're all well. See what's happening for all you single Sagittarius. If you want to know what cards I'm using, just look below the description under any video and you can see the cards that I'm using. Right. Just focusing on your energy, Sagittarius singles, the overall energy surrounding you in your love life. That's what wants to come out too. Okay, to be fair. So it's about balance, doing things right. It's about being fair. So it has to do with Treasure Island. So there's some kind of treasure. We have a nine, something almost complete here. And then we have coming to the edge and why. So there's an energy of a leap of faith. Okay, coming to the edge, taking that leap. Some questions here. It has to do with marriage commitment. You may have someone who's moving a little slow. You may be questioning them, okay? Like I can see that scenario, questioning this person if they're in a relationship before you take a risk. Ask the questions. Okay, because you want to know why. Now, it could be someone else, too. So, let's see. This could be taking a risk, but make sure you, you know, it has to do with, is this going to go towards a committed relationship? You know, it's about being fair. It's about balance. It's about whether someone's just right or not. You may be thinking of taking a risk or someone, and they may be, it could be questioning yourself as well. Okay, so we'll see here. Sagittarius. There we go. Yeah, some of you are taking stock of a situation. There's energy of stuck. You're looking at something, all the details. This is about balance in your life as well. Okay. Yeah, so it's an energy of being patient. Some of you are patiently waiting. Okay. So things are moving kind of slow. So you're taking stock of a situation. Somebody may be holding back, keeping you stuck, keeping you single. You're looking here. Okay. It's the details of the situation. And then we have, yeah, the Hierophant. It's the way someone conducts themselves, they're moving slow. Now, it could be, like I say, this these readings a lot of times will go back and forth. And the reason is, is it's trying to get you to look at something. There we got, yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is moving a little bit slow. It's an energy of manifesting. You may feel like someone's holding you back. You're looking at the details. You may feel like someone's manipulating you. So it's about being fair. Are they treating you fair? Is this person right for you? It's about how they conduct themselves. It's also about how you conduct yourself. Are you on the same page, the same path? Is this going to move towards commitment? So there's definitely an energy of that here. If you are dating someone right now and you find that they're moving too slow, things aren't moving, they're keeping you stuck or single, you may feel that you're being manipulated. But it's also an energy of someone who's very meticulous, very picky, okay? They take their time, they look at the details. So it could be someone who's just holding back, you know? It could be someone who's waiting for the right opportunity. But they are focused on investments, maybe focused on their money. They could be waiting for something to pay off. So they could, there, something why they may be holding back. So it's about being fair. And it has to do with this manifesting, having all the tools, all the information they need. This is someone who wants to have everything they need before they commit. Okay, they want to make sure they're, you know, probably financially stable. But if they're moving slow and you don't know a whole lot about this person or some things, there may be some questions you have and that you find they're holding back or you feel like they're keeping you stuck, you know, that you're not on the same page, never be afraid to ask the questions, you know. It's about having all the tools, having all the information that you need. But I feel like it's this person taking their time, very focused on money, financial uh, situations here. It's someone who wants to be prepared before they commit. So it's an energy, very slow moving. Yeah. So someone who's saving money. So there we have the King of Wands. Be a man or a woman, doesn't matter. It's someone who knows what they want, not settling. There's a lot of focus on work, creative pursuits. So it could be this person manifesting, um, you know, making sure they know exactly what they want. So it's about, you know, do they want commitment? Uh, are you right for them? You know, are you on the same page? It has to do with lifestyle, with the hierophant. It has to do with two people being on the same page, the same lifestyle, the same path. Oh my, and then we have the Queen of Cups. 
Yeah, a little emotional energy here. Some of you feel like someone's not playing fair. They're not, you know, moving at a decent speed here. So I do see this star. So this is your hopes and dreams, right? You're waiting patiently for this person, but you're feeling stuck. So, you know, it's also an energy of someone holding on to something. Someone may be holding on to a little baggage. But sometimes it's people that hold on to you and they're very slow and it feels like it's not going anywhere. You start to wonder if they're being fair, if they're manipulating you. Because we have the King of Wands. Maybe someone a little controlling, very focused on money, um, creative pursuits. They could be a self-employed entrepreneur. So this is definitely a lot of focus on the finances. Yeah, so I can, oh yeah, so <laughs> a little guarded, a little defensive. So it looks like some of you, if you have a person and you've been seeing them and it's moving really slow, and that slow could be a lot of things where they're not telling you a lot of things. You don't know if they want to commit or not. Okay, so because it's about commitment with to be fair, balance, justice. So someone who might be looking, taking their time, you know, manifesting all the everything they need to know about you. As I do feel it's someone who's manifesting, knowing exactly what they want before they go for it. Taking things slow. That's why people go slow sometimes, yeah? We have a single person here. Someone who's single, making plans for the future. See, I can see the tower. Yeah, some of you are thinking of releasing this person. You may get angry at this person. So there's that little bit of fear that this will, you know, this person really just wants to be single. They don't really want to commit, you see. Yeah. So you might be getting a little angry. This is your hopes and dreams, you know. This is someone who kind of reaches out here and there. But, you know, it's that energy of single. It's someone who's keeping you single. It's that epiphany, you see. Yeah, it's coming to the edge. It's about taking a leap. So I feel like before you do anything, ask the questions. There's an energy of being careful what you believe, being very guarded, a little bit defensive. It's about standing up for yourself. So it looks like some of you maybe have been a little passive. So sometimes the Queen of Cups can be a little passive. So it's really kind of just waiting, you know, patiently for this person. So you're waiting for them to invest. You're invested but it's keeping you stuck, okay? So it's like you're kind of in a relationship, but not energy, you see? Yeah. So I feel like you're going to put your foot down. You're guarded and defensive here. So it's an energy, like I say, you know, being single, um, thinking of taking a leap of faith, but it's staying to ask questions. There's some things that you need to know. And I do see that Aquarius energy. And so releasing the past, going for your hopes and dreams. very possible you have a person here who's in a situation like that too. I'm not seeing a player energy, but we'll see. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. See what this person's up to. It could go a couple directions here. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. So it's about balance, waiting patiently. See, this is about tempering your passions and your emotions. Okay, looking at things from a different angle here, you know, kind of pulling back. Is this person actually right for you? This could be someone who's different than your usual type as well. Some of you may look at that. You may be holding on to something here, something that's actually keeping you stuck. Like I say, it could be you or them. Always um, be aware you can flip the energy. So it's about that, you know, tempering those emotions here and i feel with that queen of cups this is someone who's definitely in temperance taking their time it's a manifesting energy it's in the heart of the reading for both of you but it's about taking stock is this person right for you but if you have a type and you keep picking the same type of person it may be telling you to look at that okay yeah tell me about that four of pentacles yeah, see, it's about emotional fulfillment, tempering your passions, emotions. You want to be happy. You want emotional fulfillment. So an energy is just being patient, waiting for this investment, this emotional fulfillment. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, something to do with work, building. Yeah, it's about two people building got someone who's not putting in a lot of effort i feel like you're the one putting the effort the queen of cups will do that offering up that cup you know doing nice things cooking you know 
Yeah, and I, I feel like you're getting angry here with that tower. I can see that tower and a little bit of anger, anger here about single, okay? It's like you're looking into the future, not so sure you see this person in your future. You may be thinking of releasing this person and letting them go. See an energy of loving yourself first. See, you know, the Queen of Cups can be somebody who who's, uh, so loves to nurture people and care for them, but they don't always put in the effort. So you're working very hard, but you're not on the same page, I feel. But I feel like you're shifting towards something here. Tell me about this treasure island. Yeah, a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. So, yeah, this is something you want to be happy. So I do feel it's an energy. You've been putting a lot of work into this. You want to commit. You want to build something. You want to build a commitment. This person's more focused on work. They're doing what makes them happy, but I do think they're keeping you. If you've got a person keeping you single, or you feel that way, Knave of Pentacles. It's a page of Pentacles. Somebody who's planning for success, you know, they're manifesting something. Um, yeah, so you've got, an, oh yeah, you've got something new. Wow, you got a person who wants to build something with you here. You got a new energy. So it looks like you got a person here who's planning something. Now, it could be the same person or it could be another because it looks like the possibility of kind of waiting patiently, tempering your passions and emotions. If you have somebody who works a lot, it could be a person coming in here. If you can be patient with this person, if they do work a lot, your patience will pay off. Oh, so I see something being exposed, but I see a lot of happiness here. Oh, yeah. You've got a person who has all the tools, the information. You've got a person who looks like they're ready for a relationship. This is likely someone moving away from another person. Yeah, This is someone gathering info, leaving things that they no longer need. You see, it's an energy of releasing. This could be a relocation, too. You may have a new person around you moving into your neighborhood. Someone could be relocating for work here, too. Do I see that magician? That's the manifesting, having all the tools, the information. See, someone wants to get to know you. They want to know more. You're going to have someone asking questions. It may make you put your guard up a little. But I actually feel like you're moving away from someone who's moving very slow. They're at the early stages of planning something. And then you have this new person who's financially stable, more ready. So I feel like you got a couple. It looks like you got someone who's right for you, someone who's possibly just not right for you because you're feeling something is off with someone. So if you do date one person, it may start and end very quickly. Uh, you're more than likely going to meet another person here. Yeah. King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they both have Earth in their chart. Yeah, so there's that energy of someone, a little Pisces energy, taking a little pause, looking at things from a different perspective. So this is a change of perspective and taking a little a moment here to look at this. So if you are kind of in a little more of a rush than this person, if you can be patient with someone, you're, this will pay off, okay? But I actually see some of you ending a situation with someone who's moving too slow, not putting in the, informa putting in the effort, okay? Yeah. Because it has to do with marriage commitment, the way someone conducts themselves. They're more focused on work. Uh, I do feel they they have something in common. <laughs> Your type, <laughs> financially stable. Yeah, but one person here I feel is you're going to move, move on from. Uh, after a little pause, you're going to look at things from a different perspective here. So... Yeah, to be fair. Now, it's possible it's one person who's moving slow and they may be looking at things from your perspective. You may be looking at things from their perspective. You see that energy? Yeah, so they may be someone who, you know, someone who wants to get to know you. They're gathering info, learning from mistakes of the past, seeing things different. So it could be someone who was in a relationship before. Yeah, there's a need to know here, to be fair. Yeah, so there is some kind of truth and success. So yeah, some of you are seeing the truth in a situation after a pause. That's going within a little introspection. You're moving on. There's someone here who doesn't want to commit, but you have a new person who does. So yeah, as you move away from one person, you have another person coming in. So whatever has been going slow is now speeding up. King and Queen of Pentacles, you're ready to go off on a new path. Beautiful. Yeah, you don't see a future with one person, but you can see a future with another. They're compatible. See, you've got someone who's different than your usual type, or they are just your type. 
Yeah, because you definitely have someone here who's not invested. Okay, that's that knave of pentacles. That's where you take that pause, that introspection to look at it. There's something different from them. Okay, there's they have a lot of things the same, focused on money, things like that. But one person is definitely more ready, more financially stable than new. So you can see yourself with this person because that's what that energy is here, Sag. Um, you could be the king of pentacles, you could be the queen. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But I see you tempering everything, you see. Now, this could be someone who has a different temperament, you know. They like to take their time. It's different personality types, too. But this is that energy where the queen of pentacles looks into the future. Do you see yourself with this person? Yeah, I see you seeing that aha moment. There's someone here who's just not right, but someone who is. So you're focusing on the success. Someone more successful Vice versa energy, going down a path with someone who's willing to cooperate and compromise. you got someone who will not compromise. They're very focused on work. So it's like I say, you're going to have to be patient. If you have someone who works a lot, they could be a business owner. Very hardworking, very hands-on. They work in their own business by the looks of it. Very creative, very hardworking person. So yeah, there's that energy. Interesting. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, it's an energy of not repeating mistakes of the past, you see? See that energy? Some of you are releasing this. You're going to let go of something, something that you're not repeating, that you've done before. So I feel it's telling you to be patient, or it's telling this person to. But it's an energy of getting out of the head, going down this path, not repeating mistakes of the past, releasing baggage. So if you have a person you date and they're moving slow, you may have this little moment where you realize this person's going to keep you stuck. They're wasting your time, right? They're, they're busy on their work. They're more focused on work. That's their habit. They're married to their job. Uh, so one of the, and it, it is likely someone who's just starting a business, so they're very, very focused on perfecting it, right? They're work, 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 workaholic. And then you got the new, the person who's already reached that stability, you see? So it looks like you're going to end something here. <laughs> Tower's coming down, you're releasing something. Uh, you may be just getting something off your chest here, but I see you being grounded, practical, and sensible, whether you're the king or queen of pentacles. The star. Yeah, this is someone keeping you from your hopes and dreams. You want that emotional fulfillment. You want your hopes and dreams. So if you if you allow this to happen, something that's happened before, it's an energy of, you know, being very emotionally invested in someone who's not as emotionally invested in you. So it's about looking at that energy, tempering your emotions, okay? Definitely the, the new person also. You'll have to be patient with them. Could be them as well. Like I say, tell me about the star. Yeah, there's an opportunity. You've got an opportunity for wish fulfillment. So it's an energy of some kind of a breakthrough. You're no longer repeating mistakes of the past. Some of you are ending something. You've got a new offer, a new opportunity. There you are, trusting your intuition. This is your intuition telling you, you know everything you need to know. You know if you have this person who's really slow, focused on work, they're not ready. You, uh, a knave of pentacles is someone who's planning for success, but they're not always ready. You know, they're very focused on it. And that's where I feel. So it's about that perspective. And it's also an energy of seeing things from the other person's perspective as well as your own perspective. So it's very possible it's all one person. You know, they're moving slow, taking their time. You know, They may actually have a change of perspective because if you decide to move on, and end it with this person because they're not co-op there's a lack of cooperation they're not cooperating you know you may decide this is where this person may make that decision to make you that offer yeah but i it really looks like single standing up for yourself looking into the future yeah you're a little guarded and defensive i think you're going to stand up to someone here and kind of let them have it a little bit but i do think a new offer so tell me about the tower yeah, you got something coming in. You're going to have a shock and a surprise, someone new. You may not even realize it's coming because you're still thinking about someone else. There's the opportunity coming in sudden. So I see it goes both ways here. Interesting reading. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you got someone who wants to know if you're single. Yeah, see, they're a little bit slow too. This is a person who's single, taking their time, planning for success. You, you got to let your guard down, a little guarded, a little bit defensive, you see? 
that's that guard and someone's you know it's about taking the guard down letting those walls down that's possible you're holding on to baggage from a past relationship too uh, where somebody was single and you they kept maybe they you know felt like they were keeping you single it's a stuck energy but it's and it's also an energy of justice and balance about two people coming together it's about all aspects of your life are they right for you? That's what the Queen of Pentacles energy is about. Looking into the future, being prepared. Queen of Pentacles is always prepared. So someone who keeps food in the uh, in the freezer, something ready to go, always has things organized, you know, in their own way. And uh, But this is definitely that energy. Is this person right for you? Because if they're not, it's time to move on. And that's where I feel for some of you, you're leaving someone who's not ready uh, for someone who is. But it's also for some of you, you've got somebody here who's, um, now looking at things from your perspective. So if you start dating someone, if you can be patient with this new person, this could actually go in your favor. Okay, so it's about letting the guard down. It's about taking a risk. Now, it could be this person also letting their guard down a little bit. <laughs> There's something about that defensive energy. Tell me about coming to an edge. Yeah, so soul searching. This is an energy of soul searching, looking for clues and answers about taking a leap, taking a risk. This person's thinking of going down a path with you. It's about their path in life. I feel that you've, this person's also having that aha moment about solid, something solid, planting that seed. It does need to be nurtured with emotion. See, there's that emotional energy. There's the solid offer. So something is definitely... Uh, blossoming here but let's see with these questions someone's going within looking for answers they're soul searching about their path in life about letting their guard down or maybe you're guarded so a little defensive or maybe if this is a person that you're going to stand up to or have uh, they may contemplate that and see things from your perspective you see this is quite interesting it could it's there's a few scenarios tell me about the why yeah see it's a little bit of fear fear of being hurt uh, this is about love, too, you know. And Queen of Cups, very emotionally invested, but someone's keeping their feelings to themselves. Now, that could be yourself. You may be keeping your feelings to yourself, or someone is, because of something that's happened before. And we all know everybody has a little baggage, you know, things are holding on to that need to be released. So someone's keeping a secret. Now, this isn't to do with emotions, but it's about breaking free from that, no longer repeating mistakes of the past. Now, if you have a person who really likes you and you feel like they're keeping you stuck, it's possible they're holding on to baggage. They may be looking at it. Because if you do put your foot down with someone and stand up to them, and you like you know who this is, you've had an on and off situation, it's moving slow. They may be uh, thinking, like, no, they have to, you know, give you a solid offer. They may be also looking at, if you know who this is, at why you stood up to yourself. They're seeing things from your perspective. So very interesting. Yeah, there it is, single, two single people. Oh, yeah. So two single people need to let their guard down, too. So like I say, you know, I do see something new here. I see someone new. I see you taking lessons learned, moving away from one. But I almost, almost looks like it's them and not you. But it depends if you're that king or queen of pentacles. Yeah, see, it's moving towards someone more stable. This is about someone very focused on financial stability, focused on the future. This is about a legacy, being very financially secure, very comfortable. Very nice. Business owner, definitely I see business owner. This person could work in a building that you work in. Yeah, they definitely could. It could even be somebody you, um, yeah, you may, I mean, you may work with them or you work in the same building or the same industry, uh, but it's definitely two people who are focused on finance. So it's about finding that person you're compatible with that wants to build, you know, it's about compatibility. Um, this is two people building each other up too. You may have a relationship, you may have something that's happened here where there's just something off, like you just know something is off and you're invested, like they're not as invested emotionally as you are, but you have someone different here. Yeah, if you have a type, it's telling you to look at your type, okay? 
You may have two people here that are your type, but they are they are different. They're very much the same, yet they're different. So it's looking at the differences, but it could be that energy between the two of you. Very much the same, but yet you have your differences. So it's about looking at each other's um, uh, point of view, you know? Yeah. Tell me about the Three of Swords and we'll wrap it up for Sag. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone who's holding back, very much in protective mode. And it's an energy of someone keeping someone stuck. But I do think you got a person, it's either baggage or someone saving money. Uh, it could be that protective too, a single person who has everything they need. They're protective of everything they worked for. Uh, so that could be the reason why this person's moving slow or it's on and off. But I feel like you're going to push the stop button here if that happens. Like if you do meet someone and you sense right away something isn't off, don't waste time. It's about knowing when to end it, trusting your intuition to know when to end it. Because uh, I do think you'll have another opportunity and it's going to be this person. They have a little bit more balance. This person's a little more balanced. They balance out the emotions a little bit more. See, head over heart, balancing emotions, balancing out work. Yeah, because you got a person here who's definitely very focused on work because they're, it's like they've started something and they're not ready. And they're planning for it to be successful, but it may not, you know, it could go on for a long time. So it'll be up to you to decide. Okay, you may have to be patient with someone and see it from their perspective. Almost looks vice versa, too. Tell me more about the hermit. This could be you, could be them. Yeah, see, this is definitely a bond, a connection. This is definitely some kind of compatible. This is someone looking to see if you're compatible. Okay, it's that physical connection. It's about a bond between two people bonding, connecting. Uh, definitely a little focus on that wand. So you want to make sure if you have a person here who only comes around, they only put in the effort when they want that physical attention from you, that could be the differences where you have someone that's not all their focus. It's more balanced, you see? Yeah, it's got to be some emotional energy here. But I see you getting something you want. I um, feel like if you trust your intuition, spirit's telling you, if you have a person who has been on and off and they keep coming back around, you know, the same way, they don't really uh, invest in the, in the relationship, but they're keeping you stuck because they're protecting themselves, everything they worked for. Now, it's possible if you've gone through change, now you have a lot of, you know, you're very financially stable, you may now see it from this person's perspective. Okay, you see that? <laughs> yeah, interesting. So there's an energy of releasing this stock energy and making a decision. So it does look like an energy between two. And I see you spending a little time alone contemplating, or they are. Yeah, this is about love, you know? It's about holding on to something, holding back, being stuck. Someone who has everything but love, you see, because they got baggage. Um, like I say, it could go either way, but the decision is to release and let go. To make a decision to let go of somebody and move towards something better. Wow, let's grab a couple charms. Looks like it's going to be a sudden decision, but I feel like just as soon as you let go of this person and you break free of the habit, okay, this trapped in your head, doing the same thing over and over again, it could be yourself giving too much. Okay, don't give so much. Just, you know, keep it kind of maybe companions at first. Kind of feel each other out. But I do see the offer coming in suddenly. And then I see, yeah, I see an elephant. So there's definitely a past energy. So that's yet generally a people who just sort of reflect on past relationships. What went wrong? What wasn't right? Uh, if you meet someone and they're, you all of a sudden have this little feeling like they're very much like the other person, I do feel like they are when it comes to work, money, things like that. But this person's ready. They're already financially stable, you see. So it's about seeing. It's also about taking off the rose-colored glasses, seeing things clearly, seeing things from someone else's perspective. I see the book. So this is to do with a, a hierophant, doing things by the book, but it's also an energy of being an open book. Someone needs to take their guard down. I think this other person's a bit more of an open book. They're a lot more high vibrational, a lot happier, a little more extroverted energy. You got someone here who's a little bit more of an introvert than an extrovert. You see, it's that energy, wow, this is crazy. There's that fish. 
So some, this person's a good catch. They see you as a good catch too. Little Pisces energy, the fish. <laughs> Loving the way these charms come out. So let's see where this is going to go with the lovers. I see the hot air balloon. It's an energy of releasing. Somebody with a little bit of an ego, possibly King of Wands, like you got a few people here. And I see this arrow. So there's that three of swords. Maybe there was a third party. I mean, it's possible, like I say, you might be dating a couple people, keeping it kind of to yourself and you're being careful not to repeat mistakes of the past, right? You're keeping something to yourself. I think it's your feelings, your emotions, but the problem is, the problem is when you do that too much, so it's about offering just a little bit, right? Letting someone know there's the judgment, the decision, the communication. Yeah. You got a person about to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel like it's them taking that leap. But will you take the risk with this person? If you have something you're holding on to, a little bit of fear, fear of being hurt, fear of third party, whatever it is that happened with this elephant, this reminiscing, that little look into the past, you know, it could be, like I say, you could have a person here who wasn't ready for a relationship. They may be coming back around and they may be seeing things from your perspective as far as the speed, the commitment. But it also says you would have to see things from their perspective if they work a lot. So look at that. I see some interesting, interesting information here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone very wise, very wise, possibly educated. So this is a lot of inner wisdom. They could have be, they could have some Pisces in their chart. You see, look at that. And then there's the seashell, the seeing. This is someone seeing things clearly. Oh yeah, you you've got a new person here. Some of you, it's new. Somebody, uh, some of you, someone is seeing things from your perspective. So if you are thinking of ending something with someone, you feel like they're keeping you stuck, it's moving slow, take that little pause, okay? You may agree to disagree too. So it's sort of an energy if you, if it is someone coming back around and they actually want to come in and start something, coming in with a much higher vibration, very happy, um, you're going to be very careful not to uh, repeat mistakes of the past. Tell me about the high priestess. Yeah, we've got two hearts here. Two hearts intertwined. There it is. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. you got a communication coming in suddenly. Uh, in fact, if you have someone who comes in who's just right and you've been dating someone and you hardly ever see them, they only come around once in a while, you're likely going to end it and go for this new um, looking really good. The decision is judgment is about shedding. It's rebirth. It's having a new opportunity, okay, for somebody who's much better. There's definitely a physical attraction. Two single people who have everything they need, uh, very attracted to each other. Two single people who take care of themselves. I feel like you fit, and I feel like it's the way you dress, the way you conduct your day-to-day -day lives. You definitely both work, okay? I do see it. I mean, in fact, that could be something you have that's compatible. You might both be workaholics, uh, married to your job. It's your habit, the way you conduct yourselves. You know, it's time for that to end, too. I can see that cycle ending. Yeah, you definitely have another opportunity here. Beautiful, okay? Beautiful, Saj. Take care of yourself. It's all food for thought. Give it a chance to play out, and we'll see you soon.